We're now down to 16 clubs in the English League Cup and some very good sides in it, including these two. Yeah, more and more teams, clubs taking this competition seriously. And why wouldn't you? It's a, it's a great one to lift at the end of it. Watford in our game today against Leicester City. Leicester City playing today on the back of a very good home victory in their last match against Crystal Palace. Yeah, nice and tight at the back in the 1-0 win. Clean sheets are great, and uh, the strikers can score. I think they will win today again. Really anticipating something special from him here today. Yeah, I do like this boy because uh, I think he gives defenders a headache with his movement and with his power. The one to watch here. And here's Watford, and this is how they're going to line up. Guillermo starts in goal. Adrian Mariafa plays with Yunus Kabul in central defence. Etienne Capu starts. The player struggling for form. And they've got plenty of goal threat with two strikers in the attack. This is the Leicester City lineup. Probably one of the two front men will slip behind the other and, and augment the midfield when required. I think so, if they start getting overloaded in the middle of the park, that's always an option for this manager who does like to fill his midfield. If you don't know Watford, we're just sort of outside northwest London. It's not that far away from Wembley. And Watford Football Club have had some times in the, the lower reaches of English football, but now they're back at the top table again. Yeah, and I'm delighted about that. It's only 15 minutes from my house, so... All power to Watford. Well, he's got his fist to it. The shot's off. Over the goalkeeper, but over the bar as well, just. It's a free kick, and that's all it is. The referee is keeping his cards in his pocket. Trying to find an opening. Not panicking. To put them in front. That's a corner. Stefano Akaka. Very good passing from this team. This with a chance to go into the lead now. It will be a corner. Doing well to keep the ball. The referee has indicated there will be a minimum of three minutes of its time. Guided on by his head. And they've got the ball still. Through pass. Goes for goal with the header. Well, they have taken the lead. Well, they kept on going. One or two of his teammates thinking that the half-time whistle was going to go. But it didn't, and they've scored. Yeah, and that certainly changed the team talks of both managers, I think, at half-time. And that has opened the scoring, 1-0 here. Number 19. He can cross it now. You. And shoots! He's blocked that well. And that's deflected behind, it will be a corner. And he heads it for goal. That's a fine header. But wide of the post. Yeah, unlucky. The keeper, you know, he wasn't going to get there. It's another chance, really. And any sort of contact there, and you think it must go in, but it didn't go in. So I think he's just mistimed that, whatever. It's a shocking miss. Well, well, they have cleared the danger. It was a decent opportunity, I think. 1-0 the final score as the referee brings an end to the game. Well, in cup ties... 
Winning is all that matters, and they have won. Yeah, they've done the necessary. I think they just about deserved it. It was close at times, but yeah, now uh, winners here. I think he was the best performer in a good team today. He was always the man to watch for the opposition, but they couldn't keep tabs on him at the vital moment there when he grabbed that goal. Hi there, a Premier League game for you today. I'm Martin Tyler, and to call the action alongside me, Alan Smith. The game today, Tottenham against Leicester City. Visitors with this wonderful defensive record actually it is the best defensive record in the division. It's a wonderful asset to have, isn't it, on the road coming to a, a ground like this and to know that you really have got a good defence. This is today's Tottenham Hotspur team. Hugo Lari starts in goal. Kevin Bimmer starts with Toby Aldevaro as the centre-backs. Christian Eriksen starts looking to continue his great form in midfield. In attack, Harry Kane starts. He was man of the match last time out. Wholesale changes for Leicester City. Kasper Schmeichel starts in goal. Wes Morgan starts alongside Robert Huth as the centre-backs. They've got plenty of goal threat with two strikers in the attack. I know it's hard for you to talk about White Hart as an Arsenal legend, Alan, but uh, did you enjoy playing here? Well, when we won, I did. And <laughs> we won a few times. But uh, you knew you were in enemy territory from the moment you pulled up to the stadium on the way to the ground, actually. Oh, it, it, it was great because uh, special games, the North London derbies, and we all used to love playing at this place. Bobby Madley's today's ref. Here's the kickoff, and the game is underway. Rushing it here, moving from one side to the other. We don't need to see all the cards here from the referee, and he's keeping the cards in his pocket. Just a free kick. <laughs> well, he's missed the target by some distance in the end. Mendy. And it's a shot now! Very close to giving them the lead. That's his game, isn't it? Intercepting. Well, that's in the remit now of the referee. Not encouraged to put the ball out, it's stopped because the referee says this player needs some treatment. Yeah, high quality fixture this one. There won't be much quarter given. Well, it's down to the referee to stop the play, and he's done that. And he's going to have to give way to the injury. It's forcing the manager to make a change. While the injured player has gone off, we're going to get the game restarted with a drop ball. George Kevin Unkudu. Here's Dyer. Could be dangerous. Oh, he's through. Ericsson! It's in for him. Wow, that has come as 
a surprise, particularly to the opposition. They were dominating the match. But the team have made good use of a, a stray ball in midfield. They've taken it on. Good play, good from their point of view. Not so good for the opposition. Well, there's a goal that's perhaps not gone according to the script here. They just pick their moment to get forward after a lot of defending. Yeah, and they can thank the defenders for that. But uh, when they did get the ball, they moved it forward really quickly. They were they were ruthless there. So, finally, the stalemate is broken here, and we have a goal. Possession in the midfield area. And there is the final whistle. It's success here for Spurs. The dismal feeling that you see written all over players' faces when they have lost a game, and they've lost this important match today. Yeah, they're, they've got it out there, but looking back, if they'd have taken... One or two chances at important moments, the outcome could have been much different. Well, the team's now facing their fourth match in this Champions Cup group stage. A lot of uh, good football been played already, and let's see what match day four brings. Yeah, you're looking for consistency, aren't you, in these group stages, and uh, one or two teams have shown that already. I wonder if they can continue it here today. Coming up for you, Leicester City will play against Copenhagen. Leicester City trying to improve on their last showing, and they were beaten away from home against Tottenham Hotspur. It was a, a narrow defeat, 1-0, but uh, in truth, it could have been a few more than that. They've worked hard on the training ground, and I think they'll bounce back. I think they'll win today. This is the Leicester City lineup. Casper Schmeichel starts in goal. Robert Hood plays with Wes Morgan in central defence. So a couple of strikers for them at the front end of the team. The lineup for the away side and the opposition, Alan, also 4 4 2 today. Yeah, and it'll be interesting to see whether these two teams do actually cancel each other out. Where well, Leicester City were so surprising in 15 16, Claudio Ranieri, veteran manager, never won a domestic league as a manager. He came in, everybody thought he was going to get sacked straight away. Lots of media experts were predicting that with a bit of justification to be fair to them <laughs> because it was so amazing what happened up. yeah it was and didn't he uh, conduct himself with charm and humility and humor he was a breath of fresh air to our game and a really likable fellow San Milano is the official today So we're underway, Champions Cup group stage match day four. Yeah, and the early signs are that we're in for a really good match here. Brilliant football from this team. Some options now for the pass. Oh, it could be up in with a chance. Terrific stop. Corner given. Good pass, getting it forward. Put them in front. Oh, they've scored. And that is against the balance of the match. Bit of smash and grab in this. A quick move, catching the opposition out. Lack of concentration, really, on their part. But a fine goal. 
That was perhaps the place where it was impossible to save it. No uh, goalkeeper could have reached that. It clips the post on the way in. Yeah, really good strike. He took it early as well, and I think that's what caught the goalie off guard as much as anything. So the first goal, it's 1-0. Tries the through pass. Very good passes. And now the shot! Well, level again. There's a bit of justice about it because the better team have been losing. Now they've equalised, they'll be thinking about winning. The momentum is with them after this equalising goal. Well, he might be a defender by name, but he's got an attacker's instincts, as this shows. Well, his teammates are all over him. They know he's capable of doing that. I think he does it plenty of times in training, but this one's valuable. So, away we go at one all. Confident and pull. Here's the chance. It's a wonderful display by the goalkeeper today. And he's kept the team in the match. The score's still level. Well, that should give his teammates a lot of heart that maybe they can go on and win this. Well, time for one last attack now. They're looking for a late winner. Can they get it? Tremendous match here as the final whistle goes, and it has finished level at 1-1. One of the goalkeepers much busier than the other, but the game's ended level. Yeah, and I mean, that goalkeeper that was busy, he's had a great day, hasn't he? Look at him, he's coming off the pitch with a big smile on his face. It's a good showing from him. I think he'd have hoped for a better result. That was an important equalising goal. Didn't have a whole host of chances, but certainly put that one away well.